Привет, Клай Скаутс! I just thought of doing a video dedicated to one of my favorite purchases right now, which is actually my current obsession. As you guys know, if you guys have been following me on Snapchat, Twitter, or Instagram, I have been raving about this leather jacket that I just got recently, which was last week. Let me just drink some tea because I'm really thirsty. But this one is my favorite lately. This is my favorite milk tea that I got from 7-Eleven. So I'm currently obsessing with milk tea lately. It's not gonna make me fat. Do not leave me a comment below saying that, oh my God, you're drinking milk tea and it's just gonna make you fat. No. My current obsession lately is about looking for the perfect leather jacket. Last night, I was watching a lot of YouTubers, uh, most of the fashion YouTubers that I know of. And one of my favorite YouTuber is um, Evelina. I will leave you guys with a link below if you guys want to see her video or her version of current obsession is also about leather jackets i'm all in for leather jackets lately and i really like have a lot of leather jackets as a staple piece in my wardrobe and i have been buying a lot of things and all things leather it's just awesome it's just that's something that you need to keep in your closet and you just need to place it there you can just look at it and you're all good you no longer need to buy anything else but once you have that perfect leather jacket it's a staple piece you can wear it anywhere actually um you can wear it if you go outside if you just buy something like a coffee from mcdonald's you can wear it if you went to the grocery you can wear it if you want to take a shower or like i don't know you can just wear it everywhere my favorite piece and my current obsession is this one i got this at pull and bear i was looking for for the leather jacket i was looking for a leather jacket back day back day back then i wanted to get one from zara but the thing is they're kind of too expensive if you are looking for a genuine 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 a genuine whatever i don't care i don't know how to say it if you're looking for the genuine genuine leather <laughs> if you're looking for that premium leather most likely it's gonna cost you like a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars or something this is actually the regular price for this one this is from pull and bear the regular price for a pull and bear leather jacket is around two hundred dollars i brought my friend to pull and bear and then i was just like window shopping and i have no plan on buying anything or going out to the store and taking something out from the store but it was my birthday so I saw this cool looking leather jacket that I really like. I know that it's gonna be like a little kind of expensive but when I tried to check the price it is only on sale for 1,900 peso. Oh my god. It's like 2,000 peso. I never really checked the original price that day. I still got the price tag with me. Let me just get it. And it would be awesome. So this is the price tag that came with it. So how it got further reduced from 1,995 so this 1,995 so it got reduced to 2,500 and then they tried to sell it for you know what the pull and bear stuff whenever I go there at um whenever I go to pull and bear like I don't really get to purchase a lot because a lot of their stuff is a lot of their clothing is really expensive I'm the person who feels like if it's not worth it for that price and it's like $200 for a jacket I'm like no I'm not gonna buy it so when i got the chance to see that it's only 2000 i just had to buy it because a leather jacket and it's premium like it's 100 percent leather jacket okay so the second price it got reduced to 3500 and then they reduced it 7900 from 8900 8,900 pesos so that's around like $200 so yeah that's the original price so in euro it's like 149 I'm not really sure how they convert that but I'm gonna research it later so this is like a price possession because you won't really get to buy a leather jacket that has that lappy thing on a collar just like the same one that I got from H&M but the one that I got from H&M was like I'm not even sure if that's like 100% leather because it looks like leather so you know what leather is leather is more of like the plastic leather it's like the cheapest kind of material yeah it's kind of like a fake leather or something like that it's like an alternative for leather if you want to go cheapy 
I really love the materials and the hardware. It will be better if the zipper was in gold, but I'm not complaining. It has a buckle underneath and you can also button this one so it won't flap. It's a Pull and Bear Black Label Collections. It's an exclusive thing, I think, and I really love that this part on the shoulder, it has like a little tiny flap. So that's like a nice detail to it. And then it has a zipper on the sleeve. And the insides are padded. It also has pockets inside where you can store your cell phones or extra money. Another one on the other side. So it's really perfect. Come on, it's like worth it for 2,000 peso. Everyone should have a leather jacket in their closet because it's really... I'm not saying that you should, but you have to. Like, you have to own one piece of anything leather or maybe just... Keep it inside your closet if you don't feel like wearing a leather jacket because it's one of the most important staple piece. You can wear it on summer, you can wear it on winter, fall, spring. You can just wear it anytime if you can bear the heat. And so that's about it. And I just want to share you guys my current obsession. And anyway, thank you guys for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe. It's www.youtube.com slash daily and follow me on my socials. I got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I will leave you guys with the link below and let me know on the comment below what you want to see next on my next video and i will see you on the next weekend bye